Hi, I'm moody. I'm feeling moody and it's time for a moon message. Today's moon is the waning crescent moon under the astrological sign of Leo. This reading is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Sagittarius, Holy Spirit, Angel Guides. Spirit Guides, what is the new moon message for Sagittarius? Hi, Sagittarius. Thank you so much for stopping by to hear this new moon message. If you're able to resonate, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and leave me a comment. Ooh, I see you beginning a new cycle. You're on the move. You're on the move. Things are changing. Anything else, Holy Spirit, before I put this... Yes, okay. That's a reminder not to be rigid, to go with the flow. As this new cycle comes in, the new moon brings a fresh start, a fresh cycle. That means you've completed something, right? Mm. You can paid a karmic debt. You're receiving a karmic reward. Something has caused this movement, and Spirit is telling you, Go with the flow. Don't be rigid. Okay. Yeah, you're learning a karmic lesson, even though it feels restrictive. Um, or the past cycle was just really difficult. Mm. Yes. So it feels like you're pushing a boulder. For some of you, I feel like you're trying to move, but there's like this heavy boulder on you that's keeping you stationary. You feel entrapped by it. You're thinking, this boulder, it isn't physical. It's all mental. It's in your head. Something has you stuck. That's why it's next to rigid. You, you want to move, but at this time, there's a feeling of being trapped. Tell me what's going on here. Mm. Okay. Mm. Okay. Angel guides, spirit guides. I, I, it's okay. Yes, yeah, spirit. What else? Thank you, Sagittarius. Okay. All right. So, some of you feel trapped, trapped by a karmic cycle, a karmic person, your, your past cycle. This is past energy. You feel stuck. You feel trapped, right? But it's all in your mind. Spirit says you are trapped in your thoughts, right? You're overthinking. That's what keeps you in your head. And you need to come out of that headspace okay right there needs to be some movement where this rigid thinking is concerned um you need to allow more compassion and more um nurturing more of your feminine energy has to come to the forefront sagittarius okay yeah, right now um, there may be an issue with there being some connectivity between your angel guides, your spirit guides. You know, they are there for you. They're all around you, but they can't interact with you, Sagittarius, unless you allow them, unless you ask them to. It's like you have to pray. You have to um, have your heart open. You have to be receptive. You can't be rigid and um, controlled and uh, trapped. You know, you can't confine them, right? When you pray to your angel guides, your spirit guides, and you ask them to come into your life to guide you um, to, right, they're saying you got to listen. You have to listen. You know, you can't invite them in and then not listen to them. No, that doesn't work. Be indecisive. When they tell you to do things, when your intuition begins to talk to you as a result of you allowing them to guide you, you have to be prepared to listen, to move, to move, to make changes, to do whatever it is that they're telling you to do. Mm. 
So at the center of your reading is this 5D card saying that it's difficult right now at this time for your guides and your angels to partner with you. Uh, there's a rigidness. Uh, somebody is set in their beliefs. It's like they don't want to change, right? Some don't want to believe. Somebody doesn't want to believe. But that is what is required at this time. Uh, this new moon brings in a opportunity, an opportunity of movement. Are you prepared to take it? Mm. This movement requires guidance. It requires um, assistance because, you know, you, you may not be able to see where you're being asked to move right now or where this path is going to lead you to. And you have to have faith that it's going to lead you to something better. Mm. Nine of Wands reverse. Something better. You know, the Nine of Wands is troublesome. It's very like you've had to endure a lot of challenges and obstacles to get to where you are, to make you who you are. And um, you've done that. You've done that, Sagittarius. You've gone through a lot in the past, and Spirit wants you to remember that. You've overcome a lot in the past. And also, some of the past has also made you a little rigid, and that's unlike you because you are the sign of expansion. Mm -hmm. So there's something that's keeping you trapped in your thoughts, uh, Something has you worried, concerned, fear, doubts. That's the rigidness that's trying to um, not allow the movement, creating blockages for you at the time. People, people, spirit, mm, something. I don't know what it is. Leave me a comment. What is it? Because your angel guides are having difficulty getting in. You're being told that, right? Look at that. The emperor is reverse. Yeah, it's like almost somebody is being stubborn a little bit, too. Um, they're not, the emperor is reverse because somebody's not being compassionate. They're not being empathetic. They're not um, nurturing. The, their feminine qualities are being suppressed, which is causing a blockage. Sagittarius. Yeah, those feminine energies are energies that show love. Mm. Yeah, those feminine energies, you know, you may have an emperor here that or an empress here that is not in balance because they're not deploying their feminine and mental energies appropriately. You need both of them. You have both of them inside of you. Your angel guides, your spirit guides are trying to talk to you about this. It all involves love, your beliefs in love, your beliefs in the type of love that you deserve. This cycle is new. It does concern love. Um, they're trying to guide you where love is concerned. Maybe you're not listening. Maybe you haven't even invited them in. I don't know what the issue is, but there is some kind of issue here. <laughs> uh, okay. Why is change and an apology in the stalemate here? Holy Spirit. Okay. Yeah, your perspective is going to change in the future. You're going to come out of this feeling of entrapment. Thank God you realize it's in your head. <laughs> you realize this is something that you have control over, right? You have control over your thoughts. You also have control over allowing your angel guides, your spirit guides to come in. Uh, but are you going to listen? That's the question, right? Hmm. Yeah, you don't want to miss any more opportunities as a result of being indecisive here. Um, I agree with you. You want some movement during this cycle, but in the past, 
You let your thoughts entrap you. You also weren't open to your angel guides, your spirit guides coming in. Uh, so for some of you, I feel that they did come in, but you didn't listen to what they told you. Where love is concerned. Mm. I do see you listening now. I do see changes signified by the hangman. Man, the hanged person appears to change their perspective because what they believed in in the past doesn't work now. It may have worked in the past or maybe it never worked at all. But either way, they're coming to the realization that under this new moon, they want to see change. They need to feel something different. They want to feel alive again. They don't want to be entrapped. They want to be decisive. They don't want to miss opportunities. Tell me more. They don't want to miss an opportunity where love is concerned. I'll tell you that. Some Sagittarians, there's somebody who wants to have an opportunity with somebody they've been at a stalemate with. Maybe there's been no conversation, no communication now under this new moon. It presents a, a chance to talk again. There, there's nothing um, trapping or blocking a conversation. And somebody can show how they feel. This is what I was feeling. That feminine energy, love, caring, compassion. It needs to be exhibited. Yeah, that feminine energy needs to be exhibited at this time. It is. It, it needs to come forward. Love. What else for Sagittarius, Holy Spirit? Two, two, two. Could be a number that you see at the present. Talking furthermore about showing this energy, this feminine energy. That's what's going to attract the partners that you need, that you're trying to attract. Yeah, you being in this feminine energy, showing your loving side, your compassionate side, Sagittarius, is bringing new people into your life. Yes. Yeah, you're, you're going to like um, attract new partners where love is concerned. You are. You're going to remove these blockages, this change allows you to have much more balanced relationships when it comes to love. It takes you out of a state of entrapment. There's movement under this new moon for you where love is concerned, where partnerships are concerned. You're just reminded to show more of your feminine qualities, your caring your compassion, your empathy, be nurturing, right? That's what your spirit guides, your angel guides are telling you. Are you listening? Are you listening? And more importantly, are you doing what they're telling you to do, right? When they're telling you to show this energy, they're telling you to exhibit it. Let everybody see the love inside of you, your compassionate side, your empathetic side. Why? Because that's attracting what you want to you. That's attracting the mate that you want. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, see, in the past, there was some type of unhealthy attachments. They were attached to you. They could have been behaviors, substances, people. Something karmic in nature was attached to you. Right? But you broke that attachment with the Nine of Wands reverse. Right? And you also came out of your thoughts. You needed more, and so you were open to change, and that brought change. Your angel guides, your spirit guides made you aware of the fact that you need to deploy more of your feminine energy and that show yourself in a more loving light with the Queen of Cups. Just do things in love, right? That's what's going to attract love to you. And that's what you do. Your whole perspective and outlook changes regarding love. With the hangman and the change card, it's like you're doing something different. And, and so quickly, 
with the Eight of Wands, things change. Your situation changes. The cycle changes. How you move changes. Because now you're being led. You're being guided, right? Now uh, you're open when it comes to love. I feel like you're attracting a soulmate. Tell me about this soulmate. Um, oh, uh-oh. There is also somebody that you were in a stalemate with. I see them waving a white flag. It says they're waving a white flag. There's somebody who wants another chance to make things right. The desire to do things better. Mm. So there could have been somebody karmic in the past that made you uh, put up your guard. And now your guard is coming down. Mm. And uh, somebody wants another chance. Maybe you want another chance with somebody. Because your guard is coming down. You're listening to your angel guides, your spirit guides. Somebody's waving the white flag. Can we do this again? Is there some potential in this relationship? Do we have the potential to change this, to turn it around now that... Somebody is showing a little more love, a little more compassion. They're listening to their angel guides, their spirit guides, which is creating this alchemy. It is, and it's changing the whole situation. See, now you're not only listening, but you are prepared to do something. It could be, could be, you know, that you want to give somebody another chance. This is a new cycle. You're moving differently. You're paying attention to your partnerships. You know, you are reciprocal. Why? Because you're showing your feminine side. You're showing love. You're being vulnerable. And that's what's attracting somebody to you or you to them. See, now that you know differently, you do differently, Sagittarius. And you're on this mission to heal certain relationships. You, you're elevating. Um, you're not trapped in your thoughts. And once you listen to your spirit guides, your angel guides, you know, everything starts to move quickly to change in your favor. favor. Blockages are removed, you know. So I see that that happens and um, healing begins. And this new moon... <laughs> This new moon brings in enthusiasm, excitement, and warmth. That's what you're all about. You're very excitable. I see, you know, your whole disposition is changing. It's like you're excited, you're happy. You know, you came in with such doubt. I'm trapped in your thoughts. And by the new moon, you're enthusiastic again. Everything has changed. Some of you even want to get back with somebody um, and do the right thing you know others of you are open to that you're just coming at things from a more loving perspective and that's what's attracting love to you after this new moon I see that happening Sagittarius if you were able to identify with something that was said like subscribe hit the notification bell and leave me a comment oh I always say I'm going to pray for you in this situation. And Spirit's been telling me to pray with you. So here we go. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Thank you so much for hanging out with me until the end. You know, that prayer covers a litany of prayers, a litany of things that we're asking from the Holy Spirit. And right now, you know, love, love is coming in all because you have changed your perspective where it's concerned. So until the next moon phase, namaste.